Guys, come and say something. Our political parties worked out on INEC chairman, PDP, Labour Party, and the rest. And on top of that, Labour Party people now made an official comment asking INEC to either change its ways or um, cancel the elections. Listen. I want to assure political parties that any evidence that you have of any alleged wrongdoing at any level of the process, whether it's at the polling unit or at coalition level, Please forward this information, and I promise you, as soon as the process is concluded, we'll then do the review as provided by law. On this note, I beg you to, for us to proceed with the process. Thank you very much. Muhammadu Buhari pledged to Nigerians free and fair elections with the passage of the new electoral act and indeed has repeated this promise multiple times. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, also came before Nigerians and the global community to promise free and fair elections and several reiterated with readiness to conduct the elections. What has become clear is that none of these promises have been kept. All the promises made about deploying a fail-safe system anchored on the beaver's technology were broken. The internet and social media is awash with videos and photographic evidences of the pervasive violence and attacks that were visited on Nigerians with some attacks still going on across the country as we speak. The evidence of collusion between INEC and the security forces to subvert the will of the people are too numerous to be detailed here. The INEC guidelines on the conduct of the elections were extensively breached, and INEC has evidently been very reluctant to make the necessary adjustment to remedy the situation. Contrary to the publicly advertised guidelines for the conduct of the elections, we are convinced that the processes leading to the results have been severely compromised. Consequently, we regret, we regret to state that we've lost confidence in the results being collated and being announced. Nigerians have inundated us with calls and protests over INES non-compliance with provisions of the electoral guidelines and the obvious manipulations of the election results. We are by call on INEC to suspend further announcement of the results and follow its own guidelines, guidelines or complete, completely cancel the entire election and make plans for another election with strict compliance with the stipulated laws and guide, guidelines.